So we're going to get started. This free crash PTCB course is being brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. Okay, I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, this is going to be a great year. Hopefully you have started your year off great. Happy New Year to you if I have not yet. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. May this year bring you blessings and prosperity and give you all the happiness that your heart can handle, okay? Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you do so. LW Pharmacy School on YouTube. Defining terms. Let's talk about it. So we got drugs, right? A lot of you guys know what drugs is. And let me back up just a tad bit before I jump into this PowerPoint because I don't want somebody to watch this and then they're like, oh, Lindsay doing the same old thing she's been doing. The foundation of the exam is still the same. The information that has been added to it, remember I said that we've added or they've added more information that we need to study um, in order to pass this new 2020 exam. But the foundation, which is pharmacology and drugs and everything, calculations and a lot of things that you already know, is still the same. So all the fear and the anxiety that you may be feeling from preparing for this new ex exam, kill it. It's not necessary. Okay. Uh, drugs. I underlined it some of the key words that stick out to me that mean something to me. Drugs is a treatment cure and it is used to prevent diseases in humans or animals. Okay. Um, we also have pharmacology here on the, on the board or on the slide. Pharmacology is still what it's always been. The scientific study of the action of a drug on a living system. Okay, which could be a plant, animal, human, insect, anything that is, any living thing that is receiving a living system that is receiving drugs. Pharmacokinetics, when you think about pharmacokinetics, we've talked about this before, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination of a drug in a living system. Think about ADME, okay? Uh, distribution or absorption is the, um, is the manner of which the drug travels from the site of administration it crosses the membrane and then it is entered into the circulatory system, okay? Distribution basically is where the drug travels from the circulatory system across the barrier of the membrane to the site of action. So first it's absorbed, then it's distributed, right? Metabolism is when it, in, it basically involves the conversion of an active drug to a compound that can be easily removed or the conversion of a product to an active drug inside the living system. We're still talking about the living system. Um, elimination is the process of which the drug is removed from the body or the living system. We know that things can be excreted by what? The lungs is one of the ways um, that it could be, the kidney, sorry, is one of the ways that it could be excreted. Uh, also sweating, sweating to get out, um, going to the restroom, pooping it out is another way that they can excrete the medication out of the body, okay? Vomiting is another way that can be excreted. The medication can be excreted out of the body. Narrow therapeutic index, the narrow therapeutic index, NTI. This is one of the new ones that is on the Bluetooth or the blueprint that has not been on the blueprint before and it is the narrow therapeutic index. This is defined as those drugs for which small differences in the blood concentration may lead to dose and blood concentration dependence. What does that mean, Lindsay? Blood concentration may lead to dose and blood concentration dependence. How, basically, what they're saying is this, these particular drugs are, are when they're used, the body can become very dependent upon the drug, okay? Um, serious therapeutic failures or adverse drug reactions can happen if things are taken away too soon, okay? What are the characteristics of an NTI? The characteristics of an NTI. It is steep drug dose, steep drug dose, which is right here. The response and relationship within the usual dose range or narrow span between effective drug concentrations and concentra drug concentrations and concentrations associated with serious toxicity. Uh oh, let's go back. Okay. And so 
when this is happening, if this ever happens and we have these characteristics, then it will be subjected to therapeutic drug monitoring, right? That's basically when the doctor is monitoring the patient that is being put on the particular medication. Um, you want to make sure, you know, that you understand what this means, the narrow therapeutic index. If you feel for whatever reason, what you just heard, maybe that's not registered or is still not making sense to you, then you can actually book a session with me and we can work and work with this or work deeper into this topic where it could be a little bit more understood. And don't worry, um, I am going to do more videos where I just kind of horn in or really, really, you know, focus in on the NTI. Um, I did want to give you some examples of NTI drugs. So warfarin is a very serious drug that is used. Levothyroxine is also very serious, and that drug is used for the thyroid. We have lithium, okay, digoxin. These are some examples of NTI drugs. Are these all of the NTI drugs that exist? No, but these are just some examples of what an NTI drug is and what you can, you know, when you're looking at those, I want that mindset to populate in your head. Pharmaceutical equivalent and pharmaceutical alternative. Drug is a pharmaceutical equivalent if the drug contains. So first, let's just back up. That word equivalent, when you see that and you think about the base or the breakdown of that word, it means equal, right? Equal. Drug is a pharmaceutical equivalent if the drug contains the same quantity, the same chemical, the same dosage form, and the same route of administration. It needs to be the same, the same chemical, same quantity, same dosage form, same route, okay? Drugs are pharmaceutical alternatives if they contain the same therapeutic entity but are different salt, okay? Uh, they may have different dosage forms or different strength, okay? Now, I wanna talk about when, when you think about the pharmaceutical equivalent and you think about the pharmaceutical alternatives, you may say, okay, well, um, if this one is shaped like a, you know, an oval, and then you have one that's shaped like a circle, those are different. Um, I want you to know, and you can write this down, that pharmaceutical equivalent may differ in shape. The scoring configuration may be different. The release mechanism may be different. The packaging, the coloring, the flavoring, the preservatives, and the expiration time may be different. However, if it has the same chemical, the same quantity, the same dosage form, and the same route, then it is equivalent. The same dosage form. Okay, what is a dosage form, Lindsay? Tablet, capsule, um, liquid, elixirs, right? So let's say it's the same dosage form and it's a tablet. One of the, the one tablet is shaped in the oval, and then one tablet is shaped in a circle. Well, it's still a tablet, may have different shapes, but it's still the same form. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, again, if this is you know a little confusing for you, give me a call, 903-295-5933, extension 101. I would love to hear from you. I love it when you guys call me. Um, I don't even think people really think that I'm gonna answer the phone, but I answer the phone. I told you I'm here. Factoring affecting product stability. Factors that affect the product stability. Factors that affect the product stability, okay? If you have a question right now and you feel like, oh my God, I can't hold it, you can drop it in the chat. Towards the end of this video, I am gonna answer questions and I will open the floor up for you to ask me questions. Um, so that way you can walk away with some clarity tonight. Um, but if you, you know, if you want to, feel free to drop your question in the chat. PH is combining two drugs that require different pH values for the final solution, which may cause the drug to break down or to precipitate. Light. Light is another factor that may affect the product stability. Okay, so we know that some medications tell us that we don't need to, we need to keep away from sunlight, make sure that you keep it in a dark place, that sort of thing. Um, even when it comes to like the amber vials that we use inside the pharmacy, we typically use more of an orange vial 
um, which is the amber, because we want to make sure that we can protect the medication. We don't want them to continue to be you, continue to do what you need to do. I'm here for you as a resource. If there's anything I can ever do, feel free to reach out to me. It has been an absolute pleasure. It has been an absolute